but I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Kit. I think that's what it's called. Yes, the Moon Child Glow Kit. This is the outer sleeve, and that is the product. The packaging is really pretty. And then I've got pictures of this. Um, I'll try and put them in here at the end. Well, at the end of the video of it before I swatched it. But I did do swatches of this. I don't know whether I did them on Snapchat, but I certainly put some swatches on Valiza. Now, first I have to address something. People are doing review videos of this and they are saying they're swatching them. And if you really rub your finger in it, you can get a really heavy swatch, like with Jeffree Star. But if you're putting highlight on, you're not going to get a really heavy swatch on your finger and then just dab it on your, on your cheek. You're going to use a brush. I mean, I've been using this Sigma brush, which I really love for highlight, but it just diffuses it really nicely. So you just dab it in the product and put it on. You get a really nice glow, but it's not over the top. And it's been kind of getting on my nerves. People are going, oh, I can't. I'm going to send this back. I can't wear this. Well, no, no you wouldn't be able to wear it in an intense, unblended swatch, but you'd be surprised. I've actually worn three of these colours already and I am so in love with this. The only thing I have to say is that two of the shades are fairly similar, which is a little disappointing because when you first look at them in the pan, they look like they're going to be very different and they're not. But this is a beautiful palette. I feel because I'm fair, I really like a cool toned highlighter. I like a really soft cool pink or a white and that's what I like. I'm not a huge warm toned highlighter person and you struggle to find kind of the more cooler toned highlights. Colourpop have got Hippo which is an amazing lilac shade and there are ones out there but there's not a huge amount of them. Um, so it's really nice to see something really cool toned. You get a decent amount of product in here and you do get six colours, no mirror and I'll swatch them all for you but they look like they're going to be one colour, then you swatch them and they, they're different because they have kind of an overspray on them. But they are so beautiful. But you could wear them as eyeshadows as well, which I did the other day. I wore that one there as an eyeshadow. It was really pretty. Um, but yeah, don't just swatch it and think, oh my goodness, that's a way, you know, that is so overwhelming. No, you're going to blend it out when you put it on. So, you know, you've got to think of it in that sense. Anyway, I'm waffling. <laughs> um, oh! There's my glosses instead I keep using that thing. Right, okay, I can see what I'm doing now. So in this palette you get blue ice, which looks like a frosty white, but it's got a blue overspray, like a cobalt blue. Star, which is a silver shade. And you've got purple horseshoe. It looks like it's gonna be a lavender, but it's got more blue content to it. Then you've got pink heart, which looks white. Well, kind of with a hint of pink, but it is just a pink. Then you've got lucky clover, which when you looked at it first looked white, but it's got green. And then you've got Blue Moon, which is kind of a bluey silver. But they are so beautiful. I'm going to swatch them all on my hand for you. And I'm just going to do a light swatch of each. So everybody's been putting really heavy swatches to show that you can, you know, get a really heavy swatch and show the colour. But I kind of want to show you them in the way that they would be worn, which is lightly. Um, I just... I think you get a better representation. So those are the shades there. So, let me open the palette. You've got blue ice here, then star, purple horseshoe, pink heart, lucky clover, and blue moon. And hopefully you can see those. And that is doing light swatches, which is how you would wear it on your face. I'm going to put a bit of Star on. Star's probably my favourite so far. So you can see, it's a lovely silvery glow. But you don't have to do that very heavy kind of colour. You don't have to go heavy with it. You just get this really lovely lip from within, very sort of silvery white glow. It's so pretty. I love Star on its own. I think my favourites in here, I think it's like, I love Star. I love all the bottom three ones. Those are the ones that I've worn so far. I've not worn those two yet, although this is the one that I did wear on my eyes. I've not worn it on my cheeks, but I've worn these four on my cheeks. I think they're really beautiful, but yeah. See, with a light hand, they are very wearable. So if you've got it and you swatched it and you were a bit overwhelmed, just think that when you put it on, it's going to be a lot sheerer and it's just, it's it's more wearable. So it's definitely worth looking at. I think it's limited edition. 
Um, but yeah, I can. <gasps> I'm very very thrilled with it. I've been wanting these kinds of colours for such a long time and it was a splurge but it was like I am so happy that finally a company have come out with these very cool toned, very sort of silvery, unicorn-y, fairy dust kind of colours because I don't, I'm not that hugely into, I like peach highlighters and all those kinds of things um, but I really like that sort of cool toned colour because I think it's just really nice. I'm waffling. This haul has probably been super long. It feels like it has been because I've been running up and down the stairs. <laughs> um, but that's everything. So I hope you've enjoyed this. It's collective. Um, I do have a My Mole Box shipment coming over and I'll haul that separately. I've got in um, some MAC. I can't even remember what there is in them. Um, no, MAC I know what's in. It's Bang and Brilliant. I ordered three of the lipsticks and then it's got some Colourpop in and I can't remember what the Colourpop things are. So I'll have to wait until they arrive and share them with you. Um, but that video will be coming up soon. I also hit 2,000 subscribers so thank you to everybody who follows me here on YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on my other arenas. My little, you know, Facebook, Snapchat, Valiza, Instagram. Um, I also put a little thing at the beginning to let you know what my name is on there, but it's usually Spacey's number one girl everywhere. And think, in fact, I think it is Spacey's number one girl on all of the other platforms. Um, but it's worth giving me a follow on the other ones. I tend to kind of do different, different things on each one. I will be drawing the winners for my giveaway. Um, I don't know whether that video will go up before this one or not. And then I do have a huge giveaway, which I wanted to do once I hit 2,000 subscribers. Um, so I'll be doing that in the next week or two, because I don't want to do like one giveaway after another. And yeah. That's it for today's video guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I do have a Primark haul coming up as well um, and that should be coming up within the week, hopefully, if I've got time to film it. Um, but that's it, I'm going to love and leave you there and see you all soon. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Bye guys!